So, not so much a tutorial, just a little tip. Corded activators. That's one thing I really haven't gone over yet. So, what is a corded activator? A corded activator is a newer... It's been out for several months, but... It's a, a new activator style, and really the easiest way to understand it that I've been explaining it to people is... Uh, it's like a... It's a mode shift as an activator, so... To give you an idea, I'll just show you. So, you know, like in here, I have my, my mode shift. The mode shift clicks, and then I had a normal... Normal click is F to uh, interact. Cord. Corded press. So I did a corded press that when I have left trigger, be left control. So let me explain what's going on there. Let's see if this will work. Okay, so yeah. So that's F. So a normal click is F. And then let's pull up a gun. And then I had a mode shift up top here that was left control. But that felt kind of clunky. I didn't like having to click way up there. So I'm holding in. We can see the move down. So you can see the, the range filling up. So I'm holding trigger. And then when I click in the middle, now it's left control. Because it's a mode shift that while I'm holding in that left trigger, change it. Instead of being F, make it control. But it's only when I'm down sight. So then that's my hold breath. And that's really it. Just real quick, real simple. And it I've, I will admit that at first I was a little disappointed and unimpressed when I first started playing around with a corded activator, but I have been starting to find some really cool uses for it. Like, at first, just reading the explanation, I was thinking more that it would be... Get that out of the way. That it would be more like... Like, my first thought was uh, Destiny 2. Like, you could do a corded press for both bumpers to do your superpower, or whatever that the special power. Which you can, but it's not super reliable. Yeah, It's more of like a mode shift. So, if you're doing... If you wanted to do, like, push both of those bumpers, you would want to do... You know, I would probably go a quartered press, make this binding be multi-button both bumpers when you're holding left bumper. And then the same thing on the left bumper. Make it be both bumpers when you're holding right bumper. Because I found it, it, was, it was being fussy when I was fiddling with it. So I was immediately a little annoyed that a fast click was not activating it correctly. Which I think that's more of just a... Uh, you want to fiddle around some, but... But I really think of it more as a mode shift. You know, so then when I go in here, click in, come back out. And that was just as simple as this is a regular press. Usually it's F to uh, interact with things. Add a corded press. Give it the binding of left control. And then you can choose which button. So it's really, it's more of a, uh, a more directly controlled mode shift. Like that was really, it was bugging me. I was thinking, you know, like, do I want to do a hold left trigger load action layer that changes? No, that would be... It'd be too much of a pain, but it was pretty simple. Just just make it a corded press. That's the only thing I want to change. Otherwise, it's... Uh, keep that up. Otherwise, it's F. Hold in. 
then it's left control. <laughs> That's, yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So that's it. All right. I will see you around.